October 13th, 2022. Beneath an oak tree in a field surrounded by nothing but tall grass, there I lay still. Nothing could take me out of this moment. The warm sun on my face with a fall breeze tickling my nose. It was perfect. Every little thing was perfect. Until, of course, drip. I opened my eyes to the sky beginning to cover with clouds. I moved in closer to the trunk of the oak tree. I closed my eyes. Drip. I noticed it has gotten quite cooler. I opened my eyes once more to a gray sky. Okay, maybe something could ruin that moment. I stood up suddenly, and the drips started turning into drizzles, and the drizzles into pouring rain. I made a break for it. But the problem with this tree is that it's about two football fields away from any other shelter. I was booking it. I'd probably say I was hitting about 13 miles per hour. Like, put me in the NFL, world's fastest running back, booking it across this barren field. I was running faster than the rain was falling. Well, it felt like it. That's until I saw the mud in front of me. And in a position where you're going as fast as me, you aren't stopping. So I accepted my fate in the form of my white t-shirt now being the color of the football I was running into the end zone. I rolled up to my suburban house looking like I was a gazelle that got tackled by a lion on the banks of the Nile River. My mom wasn't very happy. She's never really happy ever since Dad left. But you know, it was kind of her fault she married an unemployed alcoholic and decided to have a kid with him. I'm Anthony, by the way. Anthony James Fryer. A lot of people introduce themselves by just first and last names, but I always introduce myself as the first, middle, and last. I think it flows off the tongue better, and it sounds professional. I'm 17 years old, and I'm in my senior year of high school. I also confess that this entire story above was not true, except the part about my parents, sadly. But it could have happened, so I'd like to think about it as historical fiction based on my life. I don't know, man. I just wanted to write something. You see, I've always wanted to be a writer, but I've never really had anything to write about. A lot of people say, including my mom, say that one thing about being a writer is to have something to write about, but I don't want to hear it. I like to write, but my creative side is just always not there when I need it. I don't know. I just want to have a sudden awakening, like I'm here to tell the story kind of moment. I started writing this tragic love story, but since I've never been in love, it's hard to write. I was hoping if I started writing a new biography that I could have an aha moment and figure it out myself, but about a page and a half in I haven't felt anything. Nevertheless, I enjoy getting my thoughts on a paper. But back to that love thing. I have met someone recently at school. Her name is Lily. She came up to me on Wednesday last week in my math class and did the cliche bit of asking for a pencil. Her voice was soft and sweet, but I had a sense of urgency to it. She made me feel as if my one duty in life was to give her this pencil, and of course, I, being the little, lonely, metrosexual boy that I am, said yes. She brought her stuff over to my table and sat down very nonchalantly. I, of course, sat there shaking at the thought of a girl sitting next to me. She needed to help with a question and leaned over to me. My nose scrunched at her sweet perfume smell. It smelled as if roses were falling from a redwood forest high above my head, as a splash of the sweet juices of a California orange collided with them in a way that just screamed serenity. As she went to ask the question, her hair delightfully dangled in my face. The light hit it perfectly. She had that sort of sandy blonde color that when the light hits just right, shimmers like gold found along the rivers of Sutter's Mill like it was compelling me to travel the Oregon Trail and cross into the Golden State for economic prosperity. What would you say the answer for A is? She asked me out of what seemed like nowhere. Oh, I said negative seven over 28, probably. I responded. I glanced over at her paper to see if she had written negative 7 over 28 along with the entire rest of the assignment. She didn't need my help. She just wanted to talk to me. She thanked me in her sweet, acute voice and looked back down at her finished paper. I admit that I might have glanced at her answers a little bit, but you know, I helped her, so she helped me. I like to think I'm a pretty smart guy, but everyone says I don't work hard enough. It's only because I don't want to do busy work in my free time. I get the grade I want to get and we move past. I usually sit by myself and write on my laptop. But she's been coming over recently and asking if she can read what I've been writing. It's usually the start to a story I'm never going to finish, but recently it's been the same seven pages of that tragic love short story I told you about. I always get stuck on the part and how they fall in love. I have the part on how they meet and all the personalities and stuff but never the part about how they fall in love. It all seems too... corny. I want the reader to feel like they are watching two people fall in love. But I can never get it. 
I always write in backspace, write in backspace. I hate it. I want to fall in love. I don't really want to tell Lily this, because to be honest, I like her. I really don't need her to pick up on the two characters are based on me and her. I always make up some excuse on why I haven't been writing, but at the end of the day, it's most likely because I've been thinking about her too much. I hate my feelings towards attraction and affection, so it pains me to say how I think about her. But at the end of the day, I want to tell her. I really want to tell her. But I can't. Here, I sit lacking the motivation to do anything. I sit under an oak tree in the middle of a field. Well, actually, it's kind of on a hill. But if I thought I related to the beginning of the story that it would entice the reader here. But I promised myself I would keep all of my personalities in this short autobiography and just be real. I promised I'd write all the little sarcastic comments I come up with in my head. Wait, but back to what I was saying. Here I sit under my tree thinking about Lily. I have a feeling she might know that I like her, but who am I kidding? I'm way too shy to tell her. I can't even talk to you face to face. I have to jot down every little thought I have in writing before I even understand it. Let alone tell a girl how I feel. I really wish I could tell her. We are here to report on the site where a local teen was killed in a fatal car crash. More on the story will come as it develops. However, we do know that the police are working to notify the family now. way too fast. Say it all again, slowly. Okay, I snitched on the football team for throwing toilet paper all over the front of the school, but the teacher had offered me in Snickers and I'm not me when I'm hungry. Now, I can't leave my house without getting some sort of food thrown at me, i.e. the egg all over my sink. Maybe you should realize to be the most hated guy at school. Didn't the team almost get disqualified from- <gasps> I got him. Is it possible you can give me all of your attention for once? No. My esports career is more important than your high school issues. Just because you dropped out of high school doesn't mean you can talk down on me for completing my education. How many times do I have to tell you? I didn't drop out. I graduated early. You could too if you stopped skipping school. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But I can't help it when my mom just doesn't care and covers for me. Man, Anne is so cool. Please stop calling my mom by her first name. And not really. She may cover for me when I skip school, but the whole no affection in the household thing kind of sucks. Plus, I know she's going to kick me out when I'm 18. At that point, I'm not her problem. Hence the fact she doesn't care that I skip school. Yeah, but at least your parents are on your ass 24-7 for not doing the extra credit assignments, even though you have over an 100% in the class. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. I need to go. My team is wondering why I'm not on call with them. Wait, but before you go... Shakespeare, writing shows, dropping flows, getting hoes.
dying yet If life really isn't over yet I'll be your Romeo You'll be my Juliet If life really is a show Then you'll be my Juliet And I'll be your Romeo To be honest, I didn't read the play Before the test, I looked up Andrew's copy paste I know it's wrong, I know it's bad I know I shouldn't be so sad But I passed the test Now aren't you glad That I cared enough to write a copy song? Nothing. Nothing? I told you to bring snacks. Oh, um, um, yeah, um, see, I brought, I brought this, I brought barbecue chips, yeah. and I brought your favorite. Anthony James Fryer, you're the best friend to go to ask for. Oh, it's okay. I shouldn't have told them. It's fine. They'll get over it. Oh, sweetie. It's perfectly normal to feel like this. Feel free to take some time off school. Okay. Yellow? Did Anne care that you skipped school today? You haven't texted me since you got home. No. Also, please stop calling my mom by her first name. It makes me uncomfortable. But she was really weird. She told me it was okay to feel like this. She was talking to me like someone died. Weird. Damn it, I died. Oh my god, how many times do I have to say that I appreciate it if you give me your full attention for once? We were at the park all day. Now I have to practice. Do you think LeBron James was just good at basketball? No, he practiced. I'm never gonna be the LeBron James of Valorant if I don't practice. Lily, I've heard this rant a thousand times. You're never gonna become the LeBron James of your little video game with just a laptop. Little video game? Over 15 million active players are trying to be the best and I'm working on it. My parents won't me buy anything if it doesn't contribute to my education. So if I show them I'm the greatest of all time, then they'll let me buy a better setup. I guarantee you that your video game career will come nowhere as near as successful as you will at UCLA. That's the point. If I practice enough, I can show my parents that this is a successful career, and they won't make me go to college. Besides, aren't you the same way with your writing? I like to write. I would like it to be a career, but I'm open to anything if it doesn't work out. Plus, I feel like writing is way more respectable than playing video games for a living. <laughs> Are you gonna finish that book anytime soon? I've been waiting five months. I know, but I can't write a tragic love story if I've never really even been in love. Maybe you should go find someone then. Settle down. Be a stay-at-home dad writer. Trust me, that, that is the life. So have you stopped writing altogether then? Well, I wrote something. I gotta go. I think... I, I think my mom is home.
His feelings are overwhelmed with a sensation that can only be described as kneeling before your king seconds before your head is chopped off. He understands what he's going through, yet can't quite comprehend it. He knows that she gives him butterflies, but he's afraid that it will wear off. His insides feel as if his favorite song is playing on repeat, constantly bewildering him with goosebumps. His feelings are taking control of his actions, and he sits there facing the truth. He needs to confess. How will he ever know the outcome unless he tells her how he feels? He needs to tell her. He really needs to tell her. You holding up okay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. I got you your favorite. You do know I'm not six anymore. Would you rather I got you something else? No, it's perfect. Thank you. Well, I have to get back to work now. Thank you for thinking of me. I love you. I love you too. We have been notified that the teen killed in the car crash last night has been identified as local teen Lily Hutchkins. Police say that the cause of the crash is still unknown. They reported that the girl was not intoxicated, no phone was in use, and no other cars were involved in the crash. It's as if the universe just decided it was her time. We join her friends and family in mourning this very unfair loss of this beloved teen in our community. April 12th, 2023. Dear Lily, you are the most beautiful and precious friend anyone could ever have. Every little thing you do makes me smile. I love your dirty blonde hair to your sweet yet pretty cool voice. Your style is immaculate. You have that soft girl hippie thing going on, but also that gamer girl side that really just lets people know you're not afraid to be you. Your confidence is one of my favorite things about you. From me, growing up as a shy kid, you really showed me what it was like to be confident. You give me a safe place on our late night FaceTime and Discord calls. I also like how you're always confident in what you want to do. You know you want to be a professional gamer, and I know I give you crap for it, but I really admire your commitment. I don't know much about what I want to do, but there's one thing I want in my future, and it's you. I really like you. Like in more than just a friend kind of way. But I know it seems like it's coming from nowhere, but when I'm with you, my jaw locks tight with the words that I want to tell you, and they're just stifled. I can never seem to let the consonants leave my mouth. And usually, what I can't say, I write. So about eight months of thinking about how I was going to write this, the best thing I could come up with was writing a style that really reflects my personality. Because at the end of the day, I want you to like good old me, not a fake version of myself I create through my writing. I just want to say that I really like you, and I want you to help me finish my book. I don't know a lot of things, but I know that life is so much better with you in it. Sincerely, your friend. Every star will burn out before my memory is gone up the sweet coffee stain on your shirt the tide pulls out to sea and I see it all clearly that the roads can take me to your heart and I know you can't admit but life is so much better with you and it 